Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well today and also that you're still doing okay just in general um, and that you're, you know, staying safe and uh, also sane. We're actually getting ready to open up some stuff again here in Denmark, um, but I know a lot of countries are still struggling, so I hope you are okay wherever you are. But today I have some clothing items to show you and it's sort of what I've been picking up over the past two months or so, but I think the majority of the things were actually purchased right before the quarantine started because I Ironically, I needed some stuff to wear to work, um, but yeah. I also just quickly want to mention before I get into it that there are a lot of fast fashion items in this video, which I posted a video already on kind of like my thoughts around fast fashion a little bit and like my decision to buy fast fashion again because it's something that I haven't done in a long time. So yeah, I won't address it any further in this video, but if you want to check out the video, I'll link it in the description box. So yeah, just in case that you don't like watching uh, fast fashion hauls and stuff like that. So I think I'm actually gonna start with the things that I did manage to get secondhand. Um, I have two thrifted items that I don't even remember when I last went to a thrift store, but um, you know. But I picked up another one of like those tiny little bags that I enjoy very much to find at the thrift store. And um, this is a little bit of a different shape that I already have. I have three other ones that are more like uh, rectangular. I just think this is so cute. I love like tiny bags and this has like little bows on it and stuff. It's just so cute. And uh, also I kind of enjoy that it looks slightly ridiculous. I've been wearing it um, obviously just over like the winter or like over the colder months with like my big winter coat. And um, I do kind of like that it looks a little bit stupid. Sometimes I think it looks really, really good and like really like fashion, but other times I can just, I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, it looks weird, but in a good way. Like I, I kind of like sometimes just looking a little bit ridiculous to be honest. Another thing that I really like about this bag is that I have a pair of sneakers, which it's a pair of Nike 90 slash ones, I think. And they're in this like kind of golden gold tone and a little bit like of a peachy shade. And I just don't really have any clothing that sort of complements those colors before I got this. So it's actually made me reach for those shoes a lot more, uh, which is nice because my white ones are dying. So yeah, I've, I, I just love this so much. I think it looks so nice. Also, it actually might be matching my sneakers a little too well, you know, where it looks sort of like a little too coordinated, but I don't care. <laughs> I also picked up this really cute top that's like polka dotted and it's uh, sheer and then it has like sort of a lace trim at the top. And uh, this is definitely like an, an underwear top. I think I found it in the like underwear section. I actually kind of wish that I could wear it without anything underneath because I love that look. I just... In, in a non like sexual way, I think nipples look can like look really good. <laughs> I think if you like look at like runway shows and when they have like sheer things and you can actually see the person's nipples, I think that looks really good. Like it's a very nice aesthetic. And I just think it's so annoying that I really, I can't really wear this out in that way because I just, I think it looks really good. Like I think it looks sort of like high fashion-y and yeah, it's just annoying that you know, nipples can't be on display, but whatever. But I do really like it. I think it's really, really cute. And um, yeah. I also picked up two things from uh, like secondhand apps. I think this actually might've been from Trend Sales. Um, it's these sort of stone colored uh, corduroy trousers and they were originally from Monkey and they're in a size 36. And I love these. I actually specifically went on like uh, trend sales to try to find something like this because I just needed some light colored but still kind of warm trousers for, um, you know, because in winter I always wear, I have, I have so many black bottoms and I was kind of like needing a, a lighter color. And if I do like find myself in the need to buy like trousers and stuff, I very often just search for like monkey things because I know my size in like monkey trousers. So um, yeah, I was very excited to see that they actually had something like this. I could probably have fit into a 34, but I just kind of like having a little bit of room in my trousers. I hate like very tight fitting um, trousers. So yeah, I love these. I've also been wearing these just like at home because they're just super comfortable. So that was very nice. And the last thing that I got secondhand is this dress that I got off of Depop and um, it looks, very bougie, probably. I really love like really 
deep dark colors like dark brown and like uh, yeah like this dark purple and I was searching for a like very very dark brown slip skirt but uh, this came up instead and it's actually from Reformation and it is so so pretty it's 100% silk and it was a little bit expensive because I had to get it shipped from like the seller was from America so she had to ship it out of um, USA so I think I paid around a hundred dollars in total but luckily I didn't have to pay like custom feeds or like import charges or anything unfortunately this is a little bit too big but yeah it's no problem I can just take it in a little bit on each side um, I haven't done it yet so I'll show you how it looks right now even though it's a little bit ill-fitting and then I'll try to like hold it up so you can see how it's going to look but yeah I also don't have like an evening dress which I actually just imagined wearing this with something over top of it so it would look more like a skirt um, because I think the color is just this beautiful like eggplant sort of color um it looks so pretty but yeah I don't really have any evening dresses so I thought it would also like double as an evening dress if I ever were to go anywhere where I had to dress up. I also placed an order on and other stories, which I think is the first time I've ever done that. I never really used to shop that much on uh, and other stories. I always thought it was a little bit, I think maybe just too expensive. I very much used to prefer like quantity over quality, but I did pick up a few things. And uh, the first thing I picked up is this beautiful cardigan. And if you watched a haul that I did back in October, I really wanted this in white and I did pick it up um, secondhand off of Depop and then it arrived and it turned out the person selling it had already washed it and was like, had not been, you know, transparent about that and it did contain wool so it had like shrunk. I kept looking at it online and I just kept thinking that like even though mine was sort of ruined and it wasn't really the cardigan that I wanted I wasn't gonna pick up the white one again I just felt like because I did technically have it. But anyways I saw that they had this which is literally the exact same model it's just in a cream color and then it's 100% um, organic cotton which I think is so much smarter in a way because it's a lot easier to wash um, and for me like we are moving into summer and uh, I don't really need like that extra you know warmth of wool I also really love the color I think it's so pretty and it's a very peachy cream it didn't show up as cream online as it did um, as it does in person but I personally think like peachy tones suit me really well so I was actually very happy about it I think it looks so good and um, I've been wearing this a ton Casper's making fun of me a little bit because I've been wearing it so much he's like but, you know, he's the only person who has to see me anyway, so he's gonna deal with my cardigan. <laughs> I also picked up this really pretty rep cardigan. It's this uh, green sort of sagey color, and I love anything like rep style. I think it looks so pretty. They also have this in a black and in a white, um, but I just went with the green because I very much tried to, as you can probably tell, I tried to not get uh, that much black stuff because that's just very often what I tend to gravitate towards and what I tend to find in, in thrift stores and stuff. So yeah, I was trying to not buy like a lot of black stuff and I just, I love this green color too. So I was very happy to find that. Oh, and the, this and also the other one I got in an extra small, by the way. I think in other stories it's a little bit more forgiving in their sizes. So that's nice. But again, with the fabrics and this, they put like 2% wool in this, which is like, why? I feel like into the stories just tend to do this. They're like, okay, we're making this design. We're making a nice knitted cardigan or sweater. And then we put 2% wool in it. And then we just like mark the price up like by 200. And it's not like anyone's thankful because it's really itchy. <laughs> it's not like they're using merino wool. It's, it's just very like very itchy wool. So I actually think I saw someone talking about this particular cardigan online and they were like, it's so soft. This is like so... It's not. It You can tell. You can definitely tell. It's not the worst. Like it's not, you, you're not, you don't put it on and you're like, it doesn't feel like 100% wool obviously, but um, you can tell that it has a little bit of, a little bit of an itch. <laughs> and the last thing that I got from and other stories is actually this top that I'm wearing today. Um, I think this is so, so pretty, especially because it just fits me so well and I'm not used to these sort of like bodice type of I guess like these more like sculpted tops um fitting me because I feel like it's such an easy thing to get wrong or like you know you can't make one top that fits every body type and I just feel like they've never really fitted me I feel like my boobs could never really fit into them and stuff but this just fits me so so well it looks so pretty it has these like really cute puffy sleeves and then these buttons down the front and also this sort of like ruching around the um 
it just makes everything looks re look really nice and it lo it feels really well made as well um and it has like an, an elasticated back so um that also is very very nice there's a zipper down the side to sort of like help you get into it um but it feels so comfortable and it really feels like very well made when uh, when it's on the fabric feels very linen-y almost um but yeah i love this so much i wasn't sure if it was like it was a little bit too um but i think that's literally just because i'm not used to having like anything this like low cut on um but i just actually think it looks really really nice so i'm very happy with the one black thing that i got i also really don't have a lot of these like fancier tops ish i have a lot of t-shirts and stuff um so i think this is going to be so nice also for like going out and stuff um because you can kind of dress it up and dress it down so yeah i love this so much i'm so happy that this literally just that, that it fits so well i also made an order off of Topshop, and i was very specifically looking for knitwear things and um lighter trousers so uh that's pretty much what i got i got this really cute knitted set the bottoms are these high-waisted sort of wide leg trousers in this it's like a i guess like a cognac or like a coffee colored brown and then this matching sort of like cropped cardigan. I picked up the set because I thought, well, I thought both of them were really nice and I really wanted some knitted trousers. And yeah, I do think that the cardigan is a little bit too short or not too short. Um, I just, because it's so cropped, I don't think it looks that good with the pants. Um, so I've just been wearing them separately because I think it looks very, very 70s um, when it's this cropped, which I don't really love that style, but whatever. So yeah, I did pick them up because then I was able to, you know, wear them together, but also separately. But you know, that didn't really happen, but it's fine. And uh, yeah, I picked them up in a size small, both parts and Topshop sizing is just weird like always size up in Topshop if you're like in doubt I used to work for Topshop and whenever people would be like I feel like your sizes are a little bit too small uh, we were told to explain to customers that it's because um Topshop goes with like a, a French sort of sizing system which you know every time I would have to say that I'd just be like why aren't you a British company like that doesn't matter. It's in, it's in the past. But yeah, I do think that Topshop makes like really nice quality um, things. So I think on for, for the most part, um, I don't think it's like too much of a risk to buy things from Topshop. I feel like the sizing is just like the only thing. Also the pants, because it's such a heavy knit, they kind of weigh themselves down. And uh, so they're a little bit longer now than they actually were when I got them. So I think I might take them up just a little bit. It's a little difficult because it is knitted and it's just, it's gonna be a very thick, like if you have to fold it up. I'm gonna have to figure something out but I haven't really done anything because I wanted to show you guys how it actually looked when it arrived but also because I haven't been outside so it hasn't really been relevant. I've just been sort of like dragging the pants <laughs> you know after me in the apartment. I also picked up another pair of knitted trousers. These are in uh, a white sort of very yellow toned white. They're pretty much the same as the other ones. They're just in a thinner knit which makes them a little bit see-through which was something that I was concerned about and I just I kind of knew that they were going to be a little bit see-through but you know I just I don't know if I was hoping that they wouldn't be or if I just sort of accepted that they would be but the only thing is I don't really mind actually wearing things that are see-through um like bottoms in that way I just feel like you can wear like a nude pair of underwear or something but I have a pretty big tattoo on my right side on like my right hip area so the only thing is it's very obvious that it's see-through when I wear something see-through because you can see that I have a tattoo but yeah I still really like these so and yeah again these are kind of like the same um fit so they also do sort of like drag after me a little bit because my legs aren't that long and uh, that's another thing with with like top shop sizes I feel like they're very much made for very straightly shaped people with very long legs um which i mean a lot of people are shaped that way i'm just not really one of them also these are very very dirty like very dirty but it's also because i like have worn them like to take out the trash so they have actually been on the ground so i'm just i'm i'm not the classiest of people <laughs> and the last thing that i got is actually a coat that i got off of asos and um i didn't really realize that i needed a new sort of like transitional coat um before i saw it because i've just been putting off getting a new one forever so all i really have is like a bomber jacket that i got at the thrift store like years ago um which i still love it's just sometimes you kind of i feel like i needed something a little bit more fancy like i feel like it it just sort of didn't go with everything. So I saw this really beautiful cream sort of colored, like a, an oversized blazer. I think they called it a granddad coat on ASOS. And uh, yeah, it's this really beautiful cream color and 
It does look very big when it's on. I actually, I got it in a 36 originally, and then I had to exchange it for the 34. And to be honest, I think I could have gone with a 32 because it just, it is very, very oversized, which is kind of the point, I guess. But the only thing with this is that when I put my hand into like one of the pockets, um, it was already like ripped. I don't know if you can tell. Which, I actually, I thought it was me maybe first, you know, when you like pull the pockets where it's like sewn or like stitched together. But it actually has nothing to do with that. It's just really not well sewn together. I don't know, I did reach out to ASOS and I was like, you know, what's up? <laughs> I was initially going to return it because I, I just didn't really want to deal with like having to repair it. But then I also, they were like, yeah, you can send it back. And I just, I didn't really want them to just throw it out because then I'd actually rather just keep it and actually try to fix it. So yeah, and I think that's just something that is very much a tendency with ASOS like own brand stuff is that it's not super well made. But yeah, I do really like it. And I also thought it was quite handy to get a coat that was like not uh, a wool fabric or like something very warm so um, that I could wear it, you know, transitionally or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I do think it looks very pretty. And I actually got all of these things on sale. I just have that like honey client or something uh, like installed as like a plugin. So I don't know, it found some codes. And I think I actually got pretty much everything either 10% or 20% off, so. That was nice. But yes, those were all the clothing items that I have to show you. I also feel like I've been talking for quite a while, but you know, that's nothing new, I guess. <laughs> it's also been a while since I've actually sat down to film one of these types of videos, so yeah, it was nice. I'm gonna go back to writing my dissertation. You know, see what Laura Mulvey has to say about a variety of things. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope you have a really nice rest of the day, and yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.